Hello everyone, Dr. Scott Sigmund here to talk about a rotator cuff repair using a novel biologic implant. We're going to showcase the BioBrace implant, which has both biologic potential due to bovine collagen and structural support due to PLLA fibers. As you can see here, we're uh, looking from the posterior aspect of the shoulder. This is in a lateral decubitus position. It's a large type 2 degenerative tear pattern in a right shoulder. Uh, you can see the biceps is intact here, uh, and you can see we are now placing our cross FT 4.5 anchors medially. We're going to pass one anterior along the medial footprint and one posterior along the medial footprint as well. We'll typically only leave one suture in each anchor, although certainly additional sutures can be passed as you would desire. Here you can see we're going to use a standard suture passing technique. We've mobilized our rotator cuff. We'll know it comes to the footprint. We're going to pass two sutures uh, in a horizontal mattress fashion, anterior and medial to the supraspinatus, and then as we move back to the infraspinatus interval, we're going to pass the posterior sutures up and through uh, the medial aspect of the rotator cuff as well. Now we have carefully removed our sutures out and through our low profile cannula to make sure there's no twisting, and we're using a standard suture passing device to pass our sutures through the medial aspect of the graft. As you can see here, there's very ease of passage of these sutures due to the structural integrity of the graft as well. Once all four sutures have passed up and through, we're then going to place our implant through our low profile cannula, as you can see here. You can see here a grasper to push in. Another technique is to use a knot pusher with all four suture limbs up and through the knot pusher as you center the graft and place it into the shoulder in the subacromial space, as you see. We're then gonna go ahead with arthroscopic medial row knot tying. You can see our anterior knot and suture has been placed and now we're tying posteriorly as well. This is going to fix the rotator cuff to the footprint medially, but also fixates the implant to that area as well for later tensioning. We like to pass lateral sutures here as well. These are tensioning sutures, which allow us to make sure that we can put appropriate tension on the suture for our lateral aspect repair. We've marked these with purple spots so we can easily identify where we want to place our graft. And again, you can see the suture passer works beautifully through this graft without creating an issue. Then what we're going to do is go ahead and grab one of our anterior limbs from the anterior medial suture anchor and a similar one through the posterior medial as well. This is going to create a standard suture bridge technique. We like passing the lateral tagging suture as well for tensioning. You can see here we're placing our Argo 4.75 millimeter anchor here with excellent approximation of both the rotator cuff and the implant uh, to the footprint. We're going to now grab an anterior medial suture as well as our posterior medial suture to complete our repair as we approximate the lateral aspect of the graft down onto the humeral head. I like this anchor as well because you're able to tension. We're then able to bring that implant and rotator cuff across the footprint for a very nice repair that you can see here. Once the uh, sutures are removed, we can see that we have a beautiful spanning of our sutures with increased area across the implant as well as across the footprint of the uh, rotator cuff. And you can see here as we transition to the lateral portal as well, that we're able to see a very nice repair, rotator cuff down to the footprint, as well as this implant splaying across and augmenting the repair, providing uh, additional time zero strength and improvement in our rotator cuff constructs as well. 